This is Coyote News. The Atlanta Falcons are under investigation after a string of emails from the Falcons head trainer and owner discussing the franchise's concern about its excessive dependence on painkillers to treat players. A class action lawsuit filed by more than 1,800 former NFL players claiming they were encouraged by training staff to misuse painkillers. An outside agency found that the team spent $81,000 on prescription painkillers in 2009. The case is being heard in a Northern California U.S. District Court. It's National Signing Day for NCAA football. The Coyotes have already signed 30 players to this year's class. A social will be held tonight at 5.30 at Vernity Acura in Sioux Falls, where head coach Bob Nielsen will introduce the new class. USD freshman pole vaulter Chris Nelson and senior thrower Danielle Waldner have been named the Summit League Indoor Track and Field Athletes of the Week. This is Nelson's third consecutive weekly honor. Nelson leads the Summit League by eight inches in the pole vault. This is Waldner's first career Athlete of the Week award. Waldner won the shot put at the Jack Johnson Classic in Minneapolis. And those are your headlines.